Hi, I'm here at the Drome Indie Film and Music Festival, and I'm here with Rhett Crosby. How are you doing today, Rhett? I'm good, Whitney. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you enjoying the festival so far? It's fantastic. The weather here in Jerome is perfect. The people are nice and the venues are fantastic. A lot of great restaurants, hotels, and um, it's just been a really exciting time. Can you tell our audience a little bit about uh, what you're doing here? You're a filmmaker, right? Yes, um, I feel blessed to be here. I have three films in the festival, uh, two full-length features. Uh, one is called uh, Stealing Sunrise Malibu Trail. It's a sequel to um, Stealing Sunrise. Um, you can rent it on online. Uh, the second film is I Don't Mind is a Devil's Playground, and uh, it features tomorrow at uh, 245 over at the old high school, if you want to check it out. And uh, the third film is a short film called Reactionary. It just uh, showed today. And um, so it's been really exciting so far. Just pleased to be here. Good reception from the audiences here at Jerome? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, people have been very gracious uh, with their time to come and uh, view our films. And um, the applause has been good, and there's been lots of questions. And questions are always good uh, when people are asking questions. Hey, you know, where did you make it? How did you make it? Um, you know, how did this make you feel and stuff? So we've been getting a lot of that. And, um, you know, it's what it, that's what it's about, the audience. And if you can uh, create a mood or inspire somebody or um, create a reaction as an artist, that's what we want to try to accomplish. Well, where do you shoot your films? Um, really all over. Um, Stealing Sunrise, Malibu Trail, we shot part of it in uh, Phoenix. Uh, did part of it in uh, La Jolla, California, San Diego. And um, so that was fun to kind of get to travel. Um, and then um, with the Item Mine is a Devil's Playground, we shot it right here close in Prescott and at an old historical home. I wish I remembered the name of it, but it was beautiful. It actually snowed uh, when we were filming, so that added to the uh, the scenes and uh, kind of the ambiance in the film. So, And then uh, Reactionary, we actually shot at the Sp uh, Challenger Space Center um, up in uh, near um, Sun City, um, which was a really neat experience to see and learn the history of the Challenger and to be uh, put on a space suit and uh, some, do some uh, different stuff like that. So Wow, you've gotten in trouble a lot with your films. Yeah. Now, aside from promoting your own films, have you gotten to take in some of the other films at the festival? I have. There's a lot of amazing uh, producers, directors, writers, and um, actors, and uh, just really have seen some uh, great collections of work, um, both short film and full full-length feature um, narratives, and um, uh, gotten some new ideas and some new techniques and uh, I'm surrounded by really really talented people so thankful to be here. Do you have a favorite that you've seen so far? Um, you know that's uh, I'm kind of biased <laughs> but um, I did see a, a really good um, a film last night called uh, Patch. Uh, it, was, I, it was something Patch and Me or Patch Adams or something. I never was not Patch Adams that was with Robin Williams but um, it, it was it had a little fictional character that was like uh, basically the guy's imaginary best friend and I really enjoyed that because it, it was talking about some of the demons that we deal with as humans and um, kind of looking inward and trying to figure out what we need to do to correct our course in life so that tomorrow it can be a better tomorrow so it was a, I wish I could remember the name of it but it, it was patches I think it patches in me um, but a really good film so all right well thank you so much for your time and I hope you enjoy the rest of the festival thank you for this opportunity Whitney have a blessed day you too all right.